we have a distributor here out of a 57 Pontiac Star Chief with 347 V8 tri-power. It was not running very well, and then you'll see shortly why. This is just as it came out of the engine. Um, it's not running very well, so first we have to turn the machine on with the correct rotation for distributor, and Pontiac has a counterclockwise distributor rotation. So we'll fire that up, and we'll turn the speed, and that'll get it moving. We have to set that dwell to 8. It's not even calibrated. You can see here it only has about 16 degrees of dwell, which calls for 30. And the points gap is giant. But while we have it on here, we'll uh, adjust the dwell. Now we're right at 30. We'll double check that with a feeler gauge when we're done, but at least that'll get us in the ballpark. So we'll set that arrows. And since it's an eight cylinder, you want to have a arrow at every eight cylinder mark. If one's missing, then you only have a seven cylinder. And we do have all eight firing. So now we can go to the tack. And we have a spec sheet here. It's calling for 400 distributor RPMs. This should be our base setting. We've set this to zero. So now the next step is 1,000 RPMs. That's 1,000 distributor RPMs, which would be 2,000 engine RPMs because the distributor runs at half speed. So, we gain 5 degrees. And we're right on the money, 7.5. So, we'll take it at the next end of the hole, which is 21, 25. A little light, we got 11 degrees, it calls for 12 to 16. So we'll move up the points mechanism and see if we can get a little more advanced out of it. But that's the gist of checking a distributor and a distributor.